Hello everybody, and how are you doing today? Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. And so am I. And you know what? Today is week one of Quarantine Free. Yes, I am free at last. Free at last. I think somebody said that though, didn't they? Oh well, anyway, I am now free. And so's this fellow too. I know he's got a bit of a breathing problem, but don't worry about it. Don't do anything to make him upset. I had to have him check his lightsaber at the door when he came in. So, <clears throat> anyway, I'm, I'm now mask free. And uh, I wonder if, uh, if my neighbor would uh, <clears throat> take his mask off. Would you, would you like to do that, sir, please? <laughs> So this is what Lord Vader looks like underneath. This, believe it or not, is Chris Boydell. He's from Sheffield and he is my special guest today to join me in the cockpit of Ryanair 186. Today, we're going to fly between Rome and Berlin. We're going to depart from Fumicino Airport at stand 608 and we're going to fly to Berlin where we'll park in one of these spaces that's available when we get there that Ryanair normally occupies. That's in that northern section of Berlin Airport. And we're going to be following an historic flight since there are no direct flights at the moment. But the historic flight was done by, who was it done by? Uh, EasyJet. EasyJet. And it's EasyJet U25708. The last time it flew was about a month ago. And the next flight is not going to be until sometime in June, is 28th it? 28th of June or something? 28th of June. So, we are making our own trailblazing today. So, if you're ready to join us, and are you ready? I'm ready. He's going to be flying in the captain seat, in the left seat. So, how about that? Oh. It should be interesting. <laughs> why not? <laughs> anyway, come and join us, why don't you, as we get ourselves set up to fly Ryanair 186. Right, here we are. And we're in the cockpit of the famous cockpit of 186. Oh, look at that. There's an aircraft taking off there already. Oh, yeah. Now that is wide traffic that's running that. As I told you, right here is flight one computer and flight two computer over there. That yeah. runs the three screens. Flight one is the only one that has any traffic at all okay. in the settings. Flight two has no traffic. It's zeroed all the way out. Yeah. So I don't want graphics on this one, so all the graphics are zeroed out on flight one. Yeah. But maxed, well, not quite maxed, but uh, shall we say on enhanced yeah. for the external views. And for traffic, no traffic on that one. It's all generated from here and then sent over there. So when you see traffic coming up on the weather screen yeah you know traffic traffic you'll see it it'll be there as well as on, on here. the screen okay and that one that we just saw take off it also appears on this one you can also hear it yeah you can also you can hear, hear it as well yes you can so, so that's what that's all about all right you comfortable you've got your seat adjusted I have yeah good distance yeah good distance and you can see straight down through the uh, 
the glare shield. I can. So now you understand why I have that Us. main screen yeah. at the position it is, because that's exactly the bottom of that screen. Yeah, bang on. Definitely. And I lowered the side window so that when you're standing, when you're sitting and you're looking out, you actually see more of the screen and more of this, uh, the world outside. Yep. And look at that. The Perfect. This is P3D, the view grouping. That's just the view grouping for P3D, native. Nothing special. It's just what they put in and it works superbly. It, it does. really does. It looks, it looks absolutely, and it looks a lovely day in Rome. Yeah, I've got a <laughs> priest pal in Verona. <laughs> He's always phoning me and showing me the blue skies in Italy and, oh. and telling me how warm things are. And he asked me, what temperature is it there in England? And I have to say, <laughs> what, what was that? Did you say seven? <laughs> uh, so that's what I have to do. Okay, let's get the, let's get cranked up. So uh, battery, battery on. on. And there's the voltage. 24 volts. And then let's put. Uh, American Pacific 5337. I just turn that off. So we've got the fuel pumps on. Yeah. Now uh, let's turn the, the APU. APU and then oh. back. Yeah. Yeah. And let's check this and make sure that that is coming up. Here it comes. Yeah. So there's the. The gauge going active. Yeah. It climbs up. And then it comes down. And then it will come down system. to about four. Yeah. And then that's when this will click on. And then you can turn on the generators. Yeah. And then turn on the APU generator. There it is. So both the center switches. Center oh, switches. Two six. Yeah. That's it. Now we're running on 115 volts. Yeah. At this particular point, my pilot pal told me what you do is you do it column by column. So starting out at the top, turn the left IRS switch all the way up, but don't turn it back. Once you turn it forward, to nav. switch it to nav. Good. And then do the right one to nav. Good. Now that's got that set. Galley on. This is so that Ryanair can start brewing as cups of tea. <laughs> which of course we expect to be delivered, don't we? Yeah. Of course. Of course. And then, um, Working down. let's see, and then over on this side, emergency exit lights, no smoking, fasten seat belts. Over here, the left and the right window heat, one at a time. No, no. Oh, sorry. There's two, there's two on each side. So both of those? Yeah, left and right, one at a time though, and then click and click. And then the probe heats, you know what the probes are, right? Yes. That's the pitot tubes. Oh, outside. Left yeah. and right, click and click. And then the electrical hydraulic pumps, left and right. And if you notice, the equipment, that's the air stairs, they're down. Yeah. And there's the forward service hatch. And there's one of the aircraft going out. Oh, yes. Right, then over here, you put the APU bleed. Now, the bleed is different from a generator. The generator just generates electricity. The bleed is the thing that gives you the airflow mm -hmm. that goes through the cabin, that blows through those nozzles. Yeah. And But it also, when we start the engines, we have to turn off the cabin in order to generate, push all the airflow into the engines because they use the air compressor to spin the engines. Okay. So turn on the APU bleed, then this on, this on, and then these into mid, mid positions. And look at the gauge as you do that. Oh, See? yes. See? One more. One more, this one. Yeah. And then the right pack. And you hear the uh, air rushing, rushing through. through. But that's coming from the bleed. Okay. Now, this is the aircraft flight altitude. 
we're going to be flying at 38,000 feet and it goes up in increments of 500. Yeah. So we set that. Now the next thing we need to know is what is the landing altitude of and of Berlin. Of Berlin. So here's your destination and bring that up. And that's the approach, and up there it should tell you what the airport elevation is. Uh, elevation is... 156. 156? Yeah. So it goes up in increments of 50, so I'm setting 150. That's yeah. the closest one. Yeah. So now we, we have all of that. So IRS is getting aligned. Yeah, not quite yet. Yeah, so things are looking good as far as that is concerned. Instrument panels, they're all live. And here you can see down here, by the way, I can push this and it goes into system to say what the brake temperatures are and all the rest. Okay. So it's saying there's just a little bit warm on the temperatures on the outside. And you will be switching to that. Yeah. Uh, when we get ready. Okay. Now, now it's time to start uh, programming the uh, the FMC, and all of this works. So let's look and see how much fuel we're supposed to have loaded on. Just tap the bottom. Uh, yes, yeah. it will be there. Yeah, okay. So, so next screen. So fuel block fuel is nine zero three nine. So. Let me, I'll put that in. So going into FS Actions, Fuel, and what is it? 9039. So 9039. Okay. As you can see, it has this extra fuel now in the middle tank. So we'll need to put the centered tank on. Okay. So clear that. Now I'll let you go ahead and push the position initial and then we are at LIRF, aren't we? Well, and which gate were we at? And we're at 608, yeah, so yeah. we'll put that one in, it goes into temporary and then it oh, lightens nice. everything up. Okay. Now if you push this button once it will bring up the turn on the weather. Yeah. And I'll push this one. This one will be for terrain. Okay. So you've got weather radar there and terrain okay. over here. Okay. Okay, now we're doing doing okay so far. So let's go ahead and put the route in. So and you need to put the origin in, which is L I R F. at the top and then the destination is EDDB. Berlin Brandenburg. That's correct. And with flight number is RYR186. Six. And we do page down or rather next, next page. page. Yeah. Now let's have a look and tap on this one. Ah uh, that's the yeah, yeah okay. And you've got to go down to the next, that's it. There's the route. Okay. So what's the first one? Sabre. Is that the, you see the first one of course is going to be the SID. Sid, a star. So SID, SID uh, first. Yeah. So the next one we're going to go direct to Sabre. Okay. And then Direct to Amtel. No, no, is it direct? It is. Oh, good. Okay. Sometimes they're on the tracks, aren't they? Yeah. Amtel. And then direct to Gig Ed. Strange names. Yeah. They're all five letter codes. It's just, I suppose they've got to come up with something. Something. Yeah. Direct to. Renault. 
direct to Alutu. Yeah, next page. It's a direct to Tivda. Direct to Etvis. Direct to Navek. Direct to Gavli. And then we take a. Oh, finally. A t t Tango 203. And there. Yeah. To at Gup. And, and that's it. it starts to sit. Yeah. Start, sorry. Right, so let's activate and then push the execute. Very good. All right, now we need to put in the destination circles. These are circles that appear on the screen to let us know how far we are away. Yep. So we put in the fix. And the fix is going to be at EDDB. Oh, okay, so the destination. Yeah. And we need a slash four, slash four, in the first one. No, oh, that one, that one. Then a slash ten. Oh, so is this four miles, ten miles? Ten miles, correct, okay. yeah. And then 30 miles. Now, there are various reasons for putting these in. These are what my uh, pilot power for Ryanair does. And uh, they mean different things to different people. Okay. I use them because 30 miles, that's the point to where P3D will allow me to contact the tower. Okay. So anything beyond that, I can't contact. It's there's, there's just not available. <coughs> so anything at that 30 mile limit, that's it. Right. Also, we should be starting to slow up within that 30 mile limit, so we should be starting to put on some flaps to get down. And it, ideally, we need to be at flaps 5 somewhere in that 30 to 10. Okay. At 10, that's when we need to execute flaps 10, <coughs> because then we're getting quite close. Yeah, you're almost on final approach. And according to the standards of Ryanair, you drop the gear at 4 miles. Okay. That's because gear going down creates drag, and drag uses more fuel. Right, okay. We, we, it slows it down. It does. Yeah. Now, push the power button on the hi-fi thing. Yeah. On that one? Yep, yeah, no, no. That, that, no, no, not that one. Where it says PWR. On oh, the yeah, down yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then press the MET. Uh, and then DIST. That's the destination. So those gives us the information from Active Sky, no, it's just. Oh, it doesn't watch, okay. Uh, okay. That gives us the information from Active Sky for weather conditions at our destination as well as our departure. So it tells us what is the um, uh, QNH. QNH at uh, Rome is, no, is 3006. All right, 3006, and there's the setting down oh, there. Okay, so. So no, no, it's not 3006. No, that's, that's, that's the American one. <coughs> oh, that's right. Uh, you it's 1018. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Good. Does that do it on both sides? It does on both sides, okay. yeah. yeah. Yeah, since normally I'm on my own in here. Of course. <coughs> to do it on two. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I could have done it the other way, but oh uh, well. Right, now that we've got that, we need to go into departure and arrival. That's it. Departure first. Now, we were told it's going to be 25. Five, and it's a sussive 
25 Alpha. Well, let's see, first of all, that 25 is still active. It looks like it is, so they're taking off from there. So let's tune our radio up to ATIS, which is, is 121.85. 185. And then I've got that in. Yeah. Push the transfer button, good and hard. No, you need to push it hard. And then it comes up on that screen too. Our okay. Sky condition clear. Temperature two one two point one zero. Altimeter one zero one eight. Landing in the party. Runway two five. Runway two five. Runway two six. Runway two seven. Runway two eight left. Runway two eight right. Runway two minor left. Runway two minor right. Runway three zero left. Runway three zero right. Runway three one. Runway three two. Yeah. In other words, there yeah, could be anything. We may need to get up. Runway three, four, left, and runway. I think we need to get our clearance, and the clearance will tell us what runway we're going to be assigned to. Okay. So what's the uh, clearance? One, two, one, uh, if it's ground, it's 121.9. One, 121.9. Two, one, one, two, one, and then we need to go to IFR clearance. That's number two on the button. So then I'll oh, yeah, number two. One there. World Travel 4274, continue taxi. Once we've finished. Fumé Crown, Ryanair 186, IFR 2, Schoenfeld, ready to copy. Ryanair 186 is clear to Schoenfeld Airport as filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain. 10,000, departure frequency as 119.2, squawk 5501. 5501. Ryanair 186, clear to Schoenfeld Airport as filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 10,000. Departure on 119.2, score 5501. Ryanair 186, rib back is correct. Contact ground on 121.9 when ready to taxi. So, we've been given our clearance to runway 25. Yeah. So, we'll put in 25. And we'll, we'll be using the uh, standing instrument departure that they suggest. If it's not there, it must go down. Is it Sussy 5A? Good. And then execute. Now we'll go to uh, departure arrivals again. And go to, L uh, to EDDB arrivals. And that one, we're looking for ILS 25 right. 25 right. So let's go find 25 right. ILS 25 right, top one. And we're just, we're going to be coming in on the transition at the, that's it, and execute. Now, we'll check and test to make sure that we have a good flight. Now, to do that, go to legs. And then switch this to plan. So this is the contingency yeah. one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, this is the uh, continuity. Now we just go through this. We're looking for any kinds of discontinuity. There. Ah, there's one. So, so bad. I'm just going to move that up. And that's running good. That's where we make the turn, and yeah, and you can see it brings us nicely straight onto the runway for a perfect approach. I'm getting rid of that. Okay, good. Then we've got that good, so turn it back to map, and I'll put that back up to there. Now. Change the radius to yeah, 20. To 20 then. Yeah. One more. That's it. So we're set on that. Okay. We're looking good. Now let's go to route and perform the initialization. So now this is where we use those calculations. So the plan fuel. If you're looking at that screen, yeah. we had 3,309 
reserves. For the, uh, uh, for the reserves, 5,067 for the trip and taxi, yep. making 8,376. Correct. Which is 8.4. So put 8.4 into the plan fuel. 8.4. And then the reserves are 3.3. And then double click these here and then it automatically calculates. Cost index is six. And then our cruise altitude is 380. So that you, it's it will, it, it okay. will, just 380 will come right up, yeah? That's fine. The cruise wind is on this screen here. So there's the cruise yeah. wind, average wind. Uh, 259 at 42. Okay, 259 slash 42. Good. And execute. Now let's go to descent and forecast. Put in 200, 150, and 100 in these three spots. 150, and 100. And then the Q and H is over there uh -huh. for the destination. Which is at the present 1010. Okay, 1010. And we'll put that in at that. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Now the values are opposite those on the screen. You have to go down about four pages. Our descent. Yeah. yeah. Descent. So two hundred is two four three at forty one. Go ahead. is 241 <laughs> at 35 and 100 is 242 at 25 good and then execute all right now let's go to uh, route go to takeoff now this is long runway, so we can do flap five at this runway. Okay. So, and then double click, and it will calculate the center of gravity, which means the trim wheel will be set for 4.75. That's this yeah. right here. So that's when we start spinning the wheel to set it to 4.75. Got it. I already knew it would come out to that because that's the reason why I got one ton of cargo on board. Ah, Half a ton okay. front half a ton behind with a 184 <coughs> passengers it comes out that all the time ah, okay so i cheat that's all it is is it i'm cheating oh sure. shh, shh, shh. don't tell anybody no. i'm cheating <laughs> right and then over here you double click on that double, and that and that now so we've got our v1 we've got our rotation and v2 so that's 149 so Mac 149 in there. Now, we're leaving on runway 25. So let's go on to the Navigraph and and go to the airport. Go to the airport, left hand side. That's it. Then go to runway 25 and what's the heading for 25 departure? Uh, 247. So 247, you put 247 in there and I'll put 247 in here. Isn't the other way around. Ah, well. <laughs> and then again here, 247. This will be the heading. Runway heading. Yeah. And then we need 10,000 feet on here because we're cleared to 10,000 feet and on the, the runway heading. Yeah. So that's the reason why we put all of that in. Now, we'll test this and see whether we get a good plan. So that up, see that goes up first because the flight director is on your side. Okay. And so it doesn't light up on my side. So it's primary, secondary. Primary and secondary. Okay. 
and then we do V nav, green light, L nav, green light. That means we have a good flight plan. So we put the arm up there. Now the next thing we need to do is go to our destination 25 of right. Tap on that. 25 right. And tell me what the um, frequency for the ILS. 109.9. So we need to put 109.9 in here. So bottom one first. 109 and then 0.9. Push the button so it becomes active. So 109. Now push the VOR button one up, and I push this one up. Now it becomes active. You see down here. Oh yes. And it's set. If you look in the upper left-hand corner of that, it's crossed out at the moment because it can't pick it the up. CIA, uh, CIA is it say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, the next thing we need is decision height. There it is, 354. So, turning this, go to 354. You'll see it appear there. Oh, yeah. If it was radio, we'd switch to radio, and then it would go from 50 to whatever. Do you do this before you take off, or yes. do you do it on route? No, no, you can do it on route. 354, okay. that's it. You can do it on route, but this is just sort of thing that you get done. Yeah. Because we're waiting for our first class passengers to arrive, you see, and they're always slow. First class passengers are always slow. They're yeah. in the duty free. And they're in, that's right, they're waiting the to be delivered to them. Indeed. All right, so we're looking good so far. I think I've got all the information that we need off of that for the moment. Any questions so far? No. <coughs> Nervous? Well, of course, first departure. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> now you can put the your damper on, which is that one over here, and this light will go off. Oh, yes. Okay. So, but you have to do the rest before you put that switch on, for some reason or other, because it doesn't like it. Uh, those are spring-loaded in a real cockpit yep. and they'll just click back okay if it's not if it's not time for it to happen yeah now I picked this departure stand for one very good reason we don't have to do a pushback yeah we can actually start in place and then toodle out that's <laughs> where we need do you to like go. that technical term toodle, toodle out, toodle out. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that we can certainly do that all right, I think all of our passengers are on, so let's bring up the stairs and close the door, and we'll confirm that by okay. making sure the lights go out. It looks very bad, taxiing with the with stairs, the door, really. yeah. <laughs> you know, scraping on the ground, it really does. Sparks flying. Sparks flying, everything else. So just waiting for one more. Okay. There we go. And now we tell, tell the attendants that we're about to go. By the way, I do have this is when we're cleared for taxi, switches five, six, and seven. So uh, five, six, and seven. Oh, wait. Okay, yep. yeah. Logo if it's dark. Uh, all landings on one, two, three, four. Yeah. So this is what Ryanair does. Okay. So, the, so a gear up. What you do? Turn off these and all the rest after takeoff. Do this after the checklist. Press that. Press all the rest. I like of. it. Press the call button to signal crew to go to work. I like that one. Go to work, you slaves. <laughs> three thousand. Yeah. yeah. And at ten thousand, you do all the rest. So. Um, Okay. This is all of the things. See, and I even did this in my right. early days, so I knew which of the buttons were. Yeah. Good start. I was learning, you see. I was learning. And then this is, this the, checklist? is the actual checklist for Boeing 737. Okay. And what we did is we did the Ryanair Boeing 737-800 normal check widths for all the rest. So... IRS, gear pins, oxygen, your damper, 
So you, we've gone and done all of these things. Yeah, I'm breathing. Yeah. So, and then before taxi, we'll do generators, generators we'll do right. all of this. Got recall. It. By the way, pushing that, that's the recall. Okay. So these are our checklists. Perfect. Okay so far? Yes. Right, everybody's sitting, they're all drinking their champagne in the uh, first class. In the first class. I've moved this now <sighs> to the progress screen. Okay. That seems to be the practice on Ryanair is the uh, first officer's screen has the progress and then the over here is the legs. It is all the legs. Okay. Now I've got to start to think about all of this. So now we'll turn on the strobes, anti-collision lights. So we are now set and ready to do the engine start. So first thing we have to do is we have to make the passengers very uncomfortable. This is when they complain. The air has gone <laughs> off, the air has gone off. Uh, so turn that and that off. Is that the pressurization? Yes. See, okay. now we're stopping it from going through the air conditioning system so we can direct it to the engines. Yeah. And what we'll do this time, we will start engine number one. I started engine number two the last time. So we'll do engine number one. And to do that, you're going to click it over to ground. Yeah. So go ahead and do that now. And then over here, see the start valve is opened. Yeah. So that's the air pressure going through. Here you can see the air pressure building up. When it gets to 24, pull the number one out and stick it up to okay. idle. That's when it gets to 24. That's introducing the fuel, you see. 24. Okay, yeah. Now we'll see whether or not everything is working out. We want to make sure that this is continuing to build. In a moment, the low oil pressure light will go out to say everything is normal. Here you can see the engine gas temperatures warming up. Good, yeah. that's good. And there's the fuel flow telling us that we have a good burn. In the moment, we should be able to hear engine number one. There it goes. And then looking up here, we've got 115 volts coming up on engine number one. CS generator one. Yeah, okay. Good. Then switch that off. And then switching over to number two engine. Start valve light comes on. Again, wait until I Again, get some, uh, watching the N2 floor. rise, making sure that everything is coming on. We need to make sure that everything is looking good on that. When it gets to 24, introduce the fuel. Start okay. the engine soon. We'll watch for the oil pressure light to go off and watch the N1 to build. The EGT is picking up good it's getting hot so we've got a good we've got a hot start there and we'll hear the engines in a moment i'm switching to generator two to watch for, to watch for 115 volts okay i can hear the engines kicking in there we go there we've got go. 115 volts click that off we now have both engines started and they are looking good. Yeah. Okay, now we'll turn on the trans, uh, transponder over to TA, T, T, A, R, A. Okay, and there you can see at the bottom left. So that will tell us if there's any traffic in the way. Okay. And it says here, unable that, but that's okay, is we need to contact uh, ground and what's the frequency? 1.9. And we need to go for taxi. Uh, number two. Humor Ground, Ryanair 186, we're Quebec, ready to taxi, IFR. Ryanair 186, taxi to and hold short of runway 25, using taxiway, my hotel, Delta, the river, Bravo, Bravo, Alpha, contact tower on 127.625 when ready. Taxi, hold short, runway 25, using taxi when my hotel delta over the Bravo, Bravo, Alpha, Ryanair 186. Now, viewing ground, Pacifica 8334, IFR2, Heathrow, ready to copy. Pacifica 8334, that shows where we are. Airport, 
back a bit. Yeah, you just skill with your feet. Yeah, I'm used to doing that way more than. There's somebody coming in somewhere. Like and there's somebody that wants to cut us off. See? Orbit. Yeah. You better watch these orbit planes. All of these are generated by the first one, you know. By the first computer. Yeah. Go left a little bit. And trying to keep the middle line. Yeah, there you go. You're right on the middle line now. So that's the middle line. Yeah. Roughly. Yeah. Well, like from the center cam uh, camera back here, which is where the jump seat would be, yeah. that's what we would be, that would cover the yellow line. And there's another one that wants to beat us out. Now, you're going to have to get ready with your brakes. So that's pushing down. No, don't push your bottom, it's the toes you push down. Is he going? He's going. He's cutting right in front of us. Uh, All right, use your yoke and break. See, he cut in front of us. He's How dare he do here. that? We're Ryanair. Anyway, just follow him because he's going to take off the floor as well. Yeah. Follow the, the same lines that he's doing, and that's where we are, as you can so see. So we're going to turn on to the just coming up. Now we can do that. If he's going on the first one, we can take the second one, the far one. Yes. So we'll go to the second one, yeah? Yeah, you can. Swing around. Oh, there's an X. Yeah, no, there's, we're doing fine. So stick on that one or this one? Yeah, stick on this one. Okay. Ideally, we should try to get um, we should get as long a runway as possible. Yeah, we're going to swing up here and then swing to see where it says it's 25. Yeah. We're going to uh, swing on to it. Swing on to it. We need to get to tower. Okay, now we need to uh, contact tower. And we're not close enough yet to be able to ask for clearance. So we need to go just a little bit more. Let's 
Let's see if we can. The double yellow line is our left side. We need to be more in the center.
games we get into the reality. reality.
change again anyway as we go down. Yeah, okay. So adjust seats, get ourselves into position. Yeah. Make sure that you're able to reach the pedals for the brakes. Yeah. Yeah. So I always, can you see how I use mine? I use the instep on that bottom bar. So that allows me to do a pivot. Acknowledge last transmission. Uh, one. Fly left base, runway two five right, fly left one eight six. All right, we can turn that off. Now we're going to go to laps one. That will start to slow us up. Yeah. The drag required. And let's adjust this so that we get a little bit more detail. So, okay. flaps are in transit. As you can see, yeah. Auto throttle, of course, is flashing because we are making changes as we go down. As we go down, and uh, heading uh, zero, yeah, uh, one nine. Yeah. Okay, coming fine. Now we'll go to flaps two. Slow up a little bit here, yeah, that's all. So no 
Now, see, the faster you go through clouds, the more bumpy it is. Right. And the more crockery you break in the back. Yeah. So I'm going to go now to flaps five to slow us up a bit more because going through cloud it, it reduces the bumps so that the passengers don't write nasty that letters to sick. Mr. O'Leary <laughs> to say that pilot, he bumped us all over the place. I dropped my champagne my last drop. Yeah, my champagne spilled on my best dress, yeah. <laughs> so slowing up just make sure it's a smoother flight. Yeah. Yeah, put it into uh, two four five. Two four five. Is that like it's not Was big. it? No, no it's. Uh, I think it's just. It's cloud. Pissed. Yeah, it's it's just cloud passing. All right, we're doing okay. Now. Looking at the bottom, you can see the first diamond. It's white at the minute. That one there. That's the diamond. That's what we call. Yeah. Okay, so that's for the localizer. Now it will start to move in. When we start to make our turn, in fact, we can make that. Okay, so we're on five miles. Yeah. Yeah. So when that starts to move in, it'll start to turn red. Then we'll want to lock on when it goes red. Yeah. See, there it goes. Yeah. It's starting to move. And let's see if it will acquire. I've asked it to acquire. It's looking, it's got the green light on. Alright, we're going to turn engines to continuous. Yeah. That's to make sure that the spark plugs are, you know, yeah. sparking all the time okay. in relative terms. Um, so in case we run into some rough weather, we've got engines running. We've got we a diamond on the, there. So we're in the right height, so we've got two yeah. diamonds now. Everything is coming in, we're looking good on that. Um, Yeah. 
airport. I'm not sure that it's a bit muddy at the moment. I think there's a cloud right in front. I can see. I can see two yellow. I can see the lights. Yeah, it's uh, just ahead. It's behind the cloud. It is. Mist. It is, isn't it? So we're at 2000. We'll be getting our clearance in just a moment. Is that on there? It usually comes in about uh, six miles. Okay. Yeah, that's our runway. We have the runway in sight. Too wide, too red. All right, setting this. Taxi to General Aviation Parking using taxiway Golf 203 Lima. 
you're on the apron, 10 miles an hour is what you're limited to, otherwise they start doing pink tickets. Oh, stop finding you. Yeah. Speeding. Oh yeah. The very... And uh, we're just picking and uh, knocking off all the lights at the minute. So yeah, it's probably another fine. Another oh, geez, fine. Mr. Leary. Oh yeah. They just love giving out tickets. What do you think? The scenery is rather nice, isn't it? It is beautiful. I have actually got this airport. Oh, come on. Why are you... No. Use it, use your pedals. Once you get over 20, you need to use your pedals. Besides which, you need to uh, slow down. Because we're going much too fast. Yeah, apologies.
this number here, this says it's 55, 56, so it's 57 coming up, 58, 59, is that one? Yeah. This is, this is it, pull it here, left, and then straddle the line there. You see the line? And you're going to need to uh, use your brakes when we get to that stop line. If anybody dares to complain in the uh, in the baggage compartment, we will <laughs> never take them on board again. All right, so off, off. Now we do the cleanup. So APU generator there. Yeah. So galley off, lights off. Those are off, off, off. And those are off, those three are off. Good. Off, off, off. And fuel off, yeah. And APU and battery off. IRS switched off. That should be everything. And that cleanup is complete. Does that go to the VOR off as well? Yeah, everything is in the okay. off. Okay. Cool. Well, there we are. We made it. Sort of. We did all right. We did all right. Time. Yeah, it was a, it was an awkward landing, <coughs> and it's it's really hard getting used to the tiller. Yeah, it is. That's true. Um, it, it's not the easiest, but yeah, it was it was good. And we had posh biscuits. <laughs> Ryanair spares no expense. <laughs> Very true. Thank you ever so much. Well, I hope that you enjoyed yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, with our distinguished guest, the Lord Vader. Yes, that's the sound. Now he's got to put his mask back on and go out there into the big bad world using his lightsaber to go through the crowds of adoring people. And we will join you on the next flight of Ryanair 186. See you next time. Bye. Oh, thank you ever so we much. We did it. Thank you We landed. We're so in much. one piece. We are. Yeah. I've um, thoroughly enjoyed that. That's been absolutely amazing. Very good indeed. Thank you. Oh, you